Moon Knight and Batman are often compared by comic fans since both are affluent men who spend their time and money to fighting criminals at night. Mark Spector is well versed in a variety of armed and unarmed fighting techniques. Moon Knight is a reckless brawler with little concern for defense, as his occasional opponent Taskmaster has pointed out. To counteract this, several of his outfits are made of near-unbreakable metals like as adamantium or carbonadium. To get a sense of Moon Knight's capabilities, it's also vital to grasp his comic roots and skills. In the Marvel world, his talents as a trained mercenary, along with his god-given powers, make him an extraordinarily powerful force. Here are some of his powers and abilities. Number 1. Enhanced Strength. Moon Knight was able to channel Khonshu's abilities in the form of superhuman strength for a while. The physical strength of the Fist of Khonshu rises under the light of the moon, peaking during nights with a full moon. Moon Knight's strength, speed, and agility are all influenced by the moon's phase. Full moon, half moon, waning or waxing crescent, or new moon. Because of Spectre's direct links to both the moon and the Egyptian deity, these changing power levels are supposed to be in place. Other sources claim that Spectre can bench press 450 pounds on a regular basis, but can lift up to 4,000 pounds when working under a full moon. Number 2. Pain Tolerance. Moon Knight's bouts are notoriously vicious, gory, and violent, nearly invariably resulting in shattered bones, crushed limbs, major bleeding, and other forms of physical pain for both him and his opponents. Spectre is able to tolerate the excruciating agony that his injuries cause, demonstrating a near superhuman degree of endurance even in the face of torture from his most ruthless foes. Number 3. The Suit. While Moon Knight has worn a variety of outfits during his costume career, his most recognizable appearance is his all-white hooded suit. Spectre's many clothes are built to be as robust and resilient as their user, even if they don't appear to give much in the way of protection. They're also all-white, since when it comes to subduing criminals, Moon Knight favors shock value and intimidation above the element of surprise. Number 4. Weapon Expert. His experience in the military and as a mercenary put him in close quarters with a wide range of weaponry. Swords, batons, and brass knuckles are among his weapons of choice, but he also knows how to use handguns, rifles, and grenade launchers. This is only a small sample of what Mark is capable of. He is a superb marksman, capable of pinpointing precision with any weapon because to his mastery of these things. Number 5. Martial Arts Expert. Mark Spector was a heavyweight boxing champion, a US Marine, and a highly accomplished mercenary before Moon Knight. Spectre, like many of Marvel's top martial artists, underwent extensive training to become a master of boxing, karate, Muay Thai, Kung Fu, Judo, and a variety of other martial arts. He has held his own in both armed and unarmed battle without the assistance of the Egyptian god Khonshu, demonstrating that his wisdom is superior to his opponents. Number 6. Fast Healing. One of the abilities he gained as part of his pact with Khonshu was the capacity to heal at a faster pace. This was not always the case however, because if he was injured, his rapid healing processes would only occur when he was in direct touch with Moonlight. The Moon Knight series on Disney Plus makes it appear as though the suit they wear makes them practically invincible, but it would be fascinating to see how the moon influences his powers in this program. Number 7. Power Absorption. In Avengers Vol. 8 No. 33, Moon Knight demonstrated yet another example of a short-lived yet stunning power in his arsenal. Moon Knight obtained the ability to absorb the abilities of his opponents using magical artifacts after being granted access to Khonshu's immense stockpiles of power. His amazing absorption talents, on the other hand, had their limits. He's absorbed the abilities of Iron Fist, Ghost Rider, and even the Supreme Sorcerer, but the limits of this talent are unknown. Moon Knight, on the other hand, appears to be capable of absorbing the abilities of Starbrand or even the Phoenix Force if given the chance. Number 8. Immortality. Mark Spector was revived after negotiating a pact with Khonshu, the Egyptian god of the moon. Mark was given the moniker Fist of Khonshu as his avatar, and he was to execute Khonshu's bidding while battling for justice on Earth. Mark was not finished until Khonshu was finished, providing him immortality. Since becoming Moon Knight in the comics, Mark Spector has been brought back to life at least three times. Number 9. Hyperactive Brain Function. Although longtime readers of the Moon Knight comic books are aware of this, some younger fans may be unaware that the vigilante possesses godlike abilities. When Khonshu revived Mark, their thoughts were inextricably linked, radically altering the structure of Mark's brain. Although there is no solid evidence of the magnitude of these alterations, Mark summarized them by saying that his brain had been rebuilt as a god's weapon. 
This structural modification protects him against psychic and telepathic attacks and gives him total control over his mindscape. Number 10. Prophetic Visions. One of Moon Knight's particular skills is the ability to have prophetic visions on occasion. It's easy to see how people may view Moon Knight's visions as reflections of Spectre's worsening mental condition. Some speculated that the former mercenary was merely a victim of self-hypnotic persuasion. Moon Knight's visions, on the other hand, are authentically supernatural in nature, particularly, they come from Khonshu himself. Number 11. Necromancy. Moon Knight has had some truly incredible moments in the comics, and this has to be one of the finest, as he has been able to command legions of zombie mummies. Because Moon Knight is largely a one-man show against the strong Arthur Harrow and his supporters, this would be the greatest thing to be converted to the live-action screen. It may happen during Arthur's overpowering onslaught, when he summons an army of mummies, which would send fans all around the world into a frenzy. Number 12. Material Manipulation. Fans will remember Steve Rogers' ability to hoist Mjolnir in Avengers Endgame's closing act all too well. He was not the only one to wield Thor's hammer. In the comics, Moon Knight's power to control the various moons of the universe, as well as things manufactured from them, allowed him to hoist Mjolnir. It'll be fascinating to see whether the writers include this into the television series as well, since it may potentially produce another iconic MCU sequence that fans will want to watch over and over. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.